Okay, well, thanks for those calls from Kempton Park, Martin. And you join me here for the three wild, one furlong handicap, the Roland Merrick Handicap Chase. So number one is Cattail, two is Grainy Ambience, three is Reflect, he's a rarity, four, Uncle Bunge, five, Cutter Dash, six, Phantasmagoria, seven, Venture to Cognac, eight, Streets of War, Excellent Down is nine, War Pointer is ten, Dust Master is eleven, Johansson is twelve, thirteen is Jamaican Ride, and Mighty Dev is fourteen. And the starter's got him away. So a fairly low rated handicap here, the Roland Merrick, with the rain coming down. And that's, uh, we're going to wait for him to settle down. There's a couple of known front runner trainers that lead them into the first, which is Johansson for Carl Arroganti and Uncle Bunge, which I think is an Obi-Wan horse. And they're going to lead them into the second, the ditch. And everybody's over that ditch. But they've got about a four or five length advantage over the chasing pack, which is just being led at the moment by Excellent Down. And we go into the third. It's a plain one. Everybody's over that as well. So up front is Uncle Bunge and Johansson. He's passed uh, into this plain one, which will be the last next time round. I'm going to go past the big screens. And the finishing post. The stable block. And we're inside the stable lock. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, behind that big screen. It's like an LG TV. Anyways, they go around this bend. It's Uncle Bunge that leads us by length to Johansson. They've got about a four-length advantage over the grey. Reflect, he's a rarity. And then he's a length or so ahead of the chasing pack. A few of them getting pulled wide. Streets of War at the rear. The orange silks. As they settle down into this back straight now. It's Uncle Bunge that leads by a length from Johansson. And the three ahead of Reflect, he's a rarity. And we've got Grainy Ambience, Jamaican Ride against the fence in the white silks. Dustmaster's out wide as they go into the fifth. Everybody's over that. And behind Dustmaster is War Pointer. And we've got Cutter Dash in the yellow silks and the grey. We're going to the six. And we've lost one there. Dustmaster's gone. Unlucky Graham. Took a dive at that one and he's gone. So it's Uncle Bunge that leads him into the seventh. Everybody gets over that. A little bit of a sticky jump there by Jamaican Ride. He's made himself into last place. Then they hit, get into the eighth. These fences come fast and furious here. So it's Uncle Bunge that still leads by four to Johansson in second. Reflect, he's a rarity. He's third. Out wide is Cattail in fourth. Grainy Ambience is fifth. They go into the ditch, the ninth. Everybody gets over that as well. But it's still Uncle Bunge. Got a good lead here by about three to four. And the rain coming down. So a jockey who likes the rain, and they're starting to get a little bit spread out now. But it's Uncle Bunge from Johansson. Cattail now moving up into challenge for second. Reflect, he's a rarity. He's done well against the fence. Then we've got Grainy Ambience and Mighty Dev. Followed by three by War Pointer. Phantasmagoria against the fence. Then Venture to Cognac out wide. Streets of War. Cutter Dash. Excellent down. And just at the rear is Jamaican Ride. So up front, it's still Uncle Bunge by a couple of lengths now to Cattail and Johansson. The Carl Arroganti horses looking to make a challenge. They go into the tenth. Everybody gets over it, but Jamaican Ride at the rear just went through the top of it. We could be losing him at some point soon. And we're going to, oh, we've lost the leader. Uncle Bunch went a little bit up early, got himself caught, and he's gone. Unlucky for connections there, Obi-Wan. So it's Cat Town and Johansson. Arroganti horses leading them over the 12th. So Cat Town and Johansson together, but just a couple of lengths now to Mighty Devon Reflect. He's a rarity. So they take the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody, but Jamaican Rider went through the top again. And that is the last next time round. And they're going to post past the finishing post with a mile and a quarter left to run and a circuit to go. And it's still Cattail that leads from Johansson in second. Now being stalked by Reflect, he's a rarity, excellent down, War Pointer, Mighty Dev, they're all there, then a length back to Grainy Ambience and Venture to Cognac, and a further length back to the Grey, Phantasmagoria, and we've got Streets of War and Cutter Dash together, and then Jamaican Ride, who's got himself well detached now by about seven to eight lengths from the back of the pack. So as they go out on this uh, back straight, it's Cattail that leads by a couple to Johansson. And then we've got the loose horse just nodding in front. They go over the 14th. Everybody's over that, including Jamaican Road, we can't see, but it's Cattail that still leads us. From Johansson. The wall of horses approach the fifth down. We've lost, in fact, lost another one there. Reflector, he's a rarity, has gone. And also, Jamaican Ride's been pulled up. But up front, into the 16th. 
great jump there by uh, Mighty Dev, who's jumped himself straight into the lead to challenge with Cat Tail New Hanson up there into the 17th. Don't forget they come fast and furious along this back straight. So it's Mighty Dev that now leads just by about a neck to Cat Tail in second. Your Hanson's third. Excellent down four. Grady Ambience five into the 18th. Small ditch. Everybody's over it. But Cat Tail takes on the lead again as Mighty Dev pulls over towards the row as they go round the final home turn and into the straight to line up for the judge. So it's Cattail and Mighty Dev together. They're neck and neck. Out of the pack comes War Pointer. Everybody's under a little bit of pressure now, as is Venture to Cognac. Excellent down. You Hanson, Grainy Ambience, and they're probably three to four ahead of Phantasmagoria, Streets of War, and Cut Dash that have gone wide. But up front, Mighty Dev heads for home. Leads by a length now from Cattail. Venture to Cognac making up some ground, as is War Pointer. But it is Mighty Dev that leads and starting to pull away now. Three furlongs left to run. It's Mighty Dev by a couple of lengths to Cattail from Venture to the Cognac. They go over the 19th. Cat Tail was slow. Mighty Dev pulls away even a little bit further now. So Venture to Cognac looks like the one that's going to challenge. So it's Mighty Dev up front over the 20th. Two left to jump. It was a ditch. They did well. Mighty Dev leads by a couple of lengths now to the fast finishing Venture to Cognac. We've only got a furlong and a half left to go over the penultimate. They get over it. Poor jump by Venture to Cognac. Cat Tail fights back. But it's Mighty Dev inside the final furlong. Mighty Dev leads by a couple. Here comes Cat Tail. He's slow over that. And Mighty Dev, the one that jumped it poor We've ventured to Cognac, but Mighty Dev still leading. Here comes Cattail. War Pointer on the outside and a flying run from Tasm Phantasmagoria. But it's going to be War Pointer just gets up. Mighty Dev and Cattail. Phantasmagoria came from nowhere. Just didn't have enough left to get there. So Mighty Dev just getting caught on the line here. Great ride by Alex Cherry's jockey War Pointer. Gets up, takes it from Mighty Dev. Cattail was third. Phantasmagoria was fourth. I'll just wait for the card to come up. There it is, War Pointer for Alex Cherry. Well done. Second was Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry. A 1 2 there. I didn't realise that. Well done, mate. Third was Cat Tail for Carl Arroganti. Fourth was Phantasmagoria for Obi Wan. And fifth was Carl Arroganti with Johansson.